Good evening, students, teachers, faculty, staff, and families. It's a pleasure uh, to have you here this evening, and it's a, a real pleasure to be closing out the 2021 school year for many reasons, as you can imagine. Some people want it to happen, some people wish it would happen, and others make it happen. Teachers and all faculty and staff, you made it happen this year. These words from Michael Jordan perfectly describe what the GDS community did this year. And teachers, you were at the front line. Thank you. Students, you have all individually and collectively contributed so much to our community and your contributions vary through your kindness, your compassion, your scholarly approach to solving problems, constructive dialogue, and standing up for what's right. And students, you make all of us better at what we do. Teachers, counselors, and school leaders may be much older, several decades older, but we gain our wisdom from you. We learn how to inspire from you, we learn how to engage students from you, and we learn just how to do things better from you. So thank you all for all of your con contributions, big and small. And parents, although we didn't see you on campus physically, we felt your presence, your encouragement, and your support, and we thank you. At this time, I welcome Dr. Dana Smith. She's gonna speak next, but before she does, Dr. Smith, I have a few words for you. As you prepare for your new leadership role at GDS next year, I wanna thank you for your leadership in the middle school these past two years. Expanding our advanced offerings in math, designing and launching the fifth grade forward program, setting the stage for future innovative outdoor learning spaces, and keeping the safety and well-being of our students and faculty at the heart of all your decisions will be carried forward on to next year and for years to come, thanks to your forward thinking, your compassionate and energetic leadership style. We look forward to seeing and experiencing all the exciting things to come under your leadership as the new Director of STEAM and Technology Innovation. Bravo and thank you. Thank you. Um, I would like to continue with the opening remarks. I'm going to share my screen here. Okay, with a little welcome, a little welcome sign. Uh, and these are, for those of you who don't know, this is the main walkway. I know we haven't had parents on. And these are our wonderful fifth graders welcoming everybody. But I would like to welcome students, faculty, staff, administrators, families, and guests to the official end of the year middle school closing for the 2020-2021 year. For those of you who don't know me, um, I'm Dana Smith, middle school director. In August, many of us gathered on campus and others were able to come in through swivels and remote ways. Um, but, and after a busy week of orientation and get, figuring out how this was all going to work, we got down to the business of education and it was a wonderful year. I can't have asked for a better situation. Fifth grade, you were the first class to experience fifth grade forward. And based upon your feedback, you learned a great deal about character, relationships, memory, mindfulness, and much more. It has been my pleasure to watch you grow into strong, secure middle schoolers. Your dissections, math projects, exploration of ancient civilizations and personal narratives showed me and your teachers that you are sponges ready to soak up all that middle school has to offer. The Kindness Committee was the perfect example of your ability to work together and have an impact on our whole community. You made learning fun. Sixth grade, it is your turn to move from one side of the building to the other. I've enjoyed watching your passion for learning, whether it's in your book clubs, your goal, global goals projects, your algebraic thinking, or your more recent programming of our Lego robots. I know that you have a foundation that you need to be successful in the second half of your middle school career. Seventh grade, are you ready to be the leaders of the middle school? I think you are. You have challenged yourselves to reach for the stars and have learned that advocating for yourself is an important skill. This will come in handy in eighth grade. Your participation in sports, student council, science Olympiad, and get in the game show me that you see beyond the classroom 
and want to grow your whole self. I know next year you will show the incoming fifth graders what a mature, a mature rather, liberal, middle school student actually looks like. So parents, thank you for trusting us with your children during this pandemic. I know that it was really hard for a lot of you not to come for campus and only get to see us during carpool, but I promise that you were in the building through the spirit in your children and we got to see you through your children's eyes. They are amazing and you should be so proud of all that you have accomplished. I look forward to watching them grow even more as the years go on. Teachers, where do I begin? From August to May, you've been willing to try anything that I asked and have worked tirelessly to make this year as quote, normal as possible. We appreciate you, I appreciate you, and I wish you a summer of catching up on sleep and doing some things for yourselves. I'd like to have a special thanks to three people who were new to their positions and jumped in this year with both feet. Kyle, Caitlin, and Barbara, you are the best. Thank you for your hard work and support throughout the year. It was seen and felt by students, faculty, and especially me. Mrs. Catlett, Tracy, thank you for your leadership and vision. This year was quite a way to spend your second year as the head of school, and you showed us the way. I hope that next year offers you some non-COVID opportunities to show us even more of your vision for the future of GDS. So um, before I begin, I have just a couple of housekeeping things before we get into the real program. So um, make sure that you are muted. And um, I ask that you try and stay in one place because it's very distracting when people are moving around and you're trying to do, um, to give a presentation. Speaker view, which is in the top right part of your screen, is the, provides the best experience for viewing. In a perfect world, we would be able to be here from our speak, student speakers live. Unfortunately, it doesn't work as well this time. And so we have decided to pre-record some of the parts of the ceremony to avoid possible technology glitches. At the end of the program, we will play our alma mater as usual. And we um, feel free to sing along in your homes. But again, please remain um, muted. So thank you. And now on to our program. Okay. So due to varying circumstances, we had three faculty members leave our middle school last summer. And I'd like to take just a few minutes to honor these three teachers. Cheryl Love, who's here, right? I'm, I'm pointing on the left. Cheryl Love was an integral part of this community for 29 years. At GDS, Cheryl's teaching provided a strong foundation for our student mathematicians. She also shared her family with us. Her sons were part of our learning community and were taught by many of Cheryl's colleagues. These colleagues and friends have appreciated her support and care throughout the year. In the middle, we have Clarissa Marshall. She made the difficult choice to stay at home and take care of her family. Clarissa was a part of our community for 14 years and made an impact on many of our students and alumni, especially in their exposure to sustainability. Clarissa was integral in the design and maintenance of the Andre Garden, a highlight of our GDS, camp GDS campus that many of our students still enjoy during recess and breaks. And finally, on the right, on this, my right, might be your left, is Nanoshka Boylston, who accepted a new position at Piedmont Classical High School as their new art teacher. Nanoshka had been a member of our community for 13 years. She led an art history trip to Italy and was responsible for partnering with local community members to provide our students with public places and to bring their joy to all who admired it. We know that these teachers are making their marks in their new endeavors. Now, it is with mixed emotions that I also share with you that this year, Tammy Williams is returning to her public school system roots with Guilford County Schools as an assessment specialist for internal testing um, within the district. Tammy arrived at Greensboro Day last year as an eighth grade science teacher and assistant academic dean. Tammy was instrumental in designing an amazing eighth grade science curriculum and aligned it with the GDS science department and our next generation science standards. Her focus on alignment was not only in the science department, but she also worked with Mr. Peter Williams to align, help us to align throughout the campus. 
Teachers and students have benefited from Tammy's teaching and her collegial um, relationships. I know that you will join me in wishing Dr. Williams, Tammy, all the success, the success in her new position. We will definitely miss her. I would now like to turn over to um, Kristen Kerrigan, our PA president, to present the 10-year faculty award. Thank you, Dr. Smith. So um, as some of you may know, each year at these um, ceremonies, we honor our faculty and staff who have been here for 10 years. And this year, we have someone very special, Rachel Percival, who has been at GDS for 10 years. And um, oh, there she is. And um, she has mostly worked in admissions. Um, but the place that's closest to my heart is that she is also acting as our PA liaison. And so um, I have had an opportunity to work with her very closely this year. And um, so the Parents Association each year gives a donation to um, the campus beautification. And so um, trees will be planted or flowers will be planted, um, but things will be making our campus more beautiful as Rachel's smile does all the time and in her honor. And um, so we do this for all of our tenure em employees and I'd like to thank all of them and also all of the rest of our faculty and staff for all that you do every day. So congratulations, Rachel, um, and thank you for your years of service. Thanks, it's been a great 10 years. Here's to many more. Congratulations, Rachel. Well, all your 10 years, I feel like you've been here for 20 with all the work that you've done. We have probably got 20 years out of you. Um, so I would like to now um, turn over to, we have a musical interlude with our fifth graders who um, they wrote and they're performing this song. And Mr. Willis, if you're there, if I'm wrong, please correct me. But first I would like for you to all listen to our fifth graders and their, the words to the song.
you. I appreciate all that you did. I'm going to hold on. Huh. Let me switch back to our presentation. There we go. Okay. Well done. Very proud of you guys. Uh, and a great message. Um, I would like to now turn it over to Caitlin Williams, our counselor, to announce the Citizenship Awards. Thank you, Dr. Smith. So each year, the students of GDS nominate their peers for the Good Citizenship Award in each grade level. Students consider which of their peers represent the strong character traits of a good citizen. Traits like honesty, sincerity, and kindness are evaluated as they select peers who exemplify good citizenship. In years past, we've recognized one student from each grade, but this year, with all that's happened, we decided to recognize two students from each grade that have made this school community feel like home in the midst of a pandemic, with the exception of fifth grade because we had a three-way tie. So we'll start with fifth grade. The first student is known by their peers for their kindness. This person goes out of their way to include others and help them no matter what. This person is a friend to everyone. The first person to receive the citizenship award is Isaiah Harper. I'm gonna bring them all up when they're done. Okay. The second citizenship award goes to a student that puts a smile on everyone's faces. This person is truthful and respectful and loyal. This person reaches out to those that are lonely and maintains a great attitude. This award goes to Hayes Brabham. And last but not least, the third citizenship award recipient is someone that can always be found holding the doors open for the whole middle school almost every day. This person is kind and uplifting to others. This person is patient and welcoming to all people. Our third award goes to Ryder Holden. We are so proud of you fifth grade. In sixth grade, we are recognizing two students. The first student is known by peers as a respectful, kind, and good-hearted person. This person is willing to help peers when they don't understand something, and they are always intentional about not interrupting when others speak. Today, we recognize Berg and Manny for always being a great citizen in our GDS community. Next, we recognize a student that is both trustworthy and honest. This person makes an effort to do the right thing and they are accepting of everyone. Friends know this person as someone that they can count on. This award goes to Izzy Drexel. Congratulations to both of you. And in seventh grade, we're recognizing two students as well. The first student is someone that peers can't imagine being mean. This person is caring and helpful at all times. They're very generous and they're admired by others. This award goes to Trent Gross. And the second citizenship award goes to someone that others feel they can trust. The student has a great attitude and lifts the moods of other people. Their kindness and willingness to help makes them stand out from the crowd. We recognize Ao Rosario for being a great citizen in our GDS community. Congratulations to all of you. It has been an honor getting to know you this year and we're so proud of you. Our eighth grade citizenship award winners will be announced at the eighth grade celebration. Thank you, Ms. Williams. And I too am so proud of these students and um, not only for what they've given to their individual grades, but what they've given to the school as a whole and the example that they've set for everybody. So I thank you. Um, we would now, we're now going to turn um, our, to hear from our student council vice president and president. I just want to say that this year student council went an interesting way in that we were a club and then we sort of the way we had to do elections with COVID and stuff. So the pe members of the student council were amazing and they did things in very interesting ways. And um, the president and vice president were always there when I needed to call them and say, okay, I need you to do this. In fact, even when I said, okay, how would you like to do end of the year speeches? And they were like, sure, and they jumped right in. So at first we, I have a speech to, from Monty Price Bailey, our student council vice president. Hi, my name is Monty and I'm currently the middle school student council vice president. 
So far, our middle school experience has been a roller coaster of events, but I have loved every minute of it with all of you. I'm so glad that GDS has offered in-person, online and hybrid learning so that people could do what they felt comfortable doing. This year, I was online for the first few months because I was unsure about what was safe and not. Though once I went in person, I realised that GDS was taking many precautions by sanitising the desks in between the uses and sanitising down the whole school once a month. When my family and I decided to go in person, I enjoyed making new friends and playing Foursquare in the courtyard. The coronavirus pandemic has been difficult for everyone. Luckily, GDS has been cautious by doing daily screenings on Magnus and not many people have came back positive with COVID-19. Whether I was online or in person, GDS has found many ways to make every day of this year unforgettable. Thank you. Thank you, Monty. Uh, we, and we, are, we did appreciate getting to see both your perspectives on your GDS experience this year. So we thank you and we thank you for showing how remote learners can do an amazing job. Hi. Sorry. Oh, okay. So now we are going to hear from Rashan Sood, who's our student council president. Hello, my name is Rashan Sood and I'm the middle school student council president. I am honored to give the end of the year speech to the middle school. Well, we did it. Together we survived this gruesome year. COVID-19 may have presented us with hurdles that seemed unbeatable, but I'm happy to say we have overcome every single one. Sure, no one liked to wear masks or constantly be told to stay six feet apart or not be able to use the cafeteria, but it all had to be done to keep everyone safe. In spite of these difficult times, we experienced some new changes that were positive, like having shorter classes, having study halls every other day, and luckily being able to do sports again. Speaking of sports, several of the middle school teams had great seasons. In soccer, both the boys and girls green team made it to the semifinals. The boys tennis team had a great season with an 8-2 record. Cross country and chat both did well, and the boys golf team won conference championships and had an undefeated season. All of these achievements happened because of teamwork and dedication, also because of amazing coaches. Despite the rigor and challenges that the sports seasons brought, we experienced new memories. On the topic of remembrance, I as well made many enjoyable memories this year. One of them was when Mr. Head and I had a bet on who would win in the Liverpool versus Manchester United soccer matches with him being a Liverpool fan and me being a Manchester United fan. Let's just say that did not end well for me. Another fun memory was doing sword fights with bamboo sticks on nature hikes during Chinese class. Also, the boys middle school's green team beat the JV team in soccer. These were only some of the mem many memories that I'll keep very close to me. Thank you everyone for letting me take some of your time today. I hope that all of you had a great year, if not better. Thank you teachers and faculty for put, putting up with us students and being willing to be on campus. I also want to thank Ms. Baldwin for helping me write this speech. And finally, I want to wish the rising ninth graders good luck as they enter into the next phase of their life in the opera school. Have a great day and be safe this summer. Thank you. Needless to say, you can see what great leaders these two are and their perspective on things. And the good news is they'll be in, Roshan is going, is a rising eighth grader and Monty is a rising seventh grader. So we get them for at least one more year. So I'm very excited for what they will continue to bring to our middle school. So um, we are about at that point where we're going to um, end, but we're going to end with the alma mater just as we always do as in, in all traditions. And uh, so uh -huh. I would like to, um, I'm going to play the alma mater. As I said, please feel free to sing along at home um, and, and mute because otherwise we're going to have some interesting sounds. Um, but enjoy it. This is, I have to admit, my own private thing. This is one of my favorite th parts of all of our closing things is to think about the alma mater, which, if you notice down the bottom left, was written by students, alumni from our past. And so that makes it even more special.
everybody who's had an, a role in making this an amazing year. I wish you all a wonderful, wonderful summer and see you in the fall.